Hey there! So we wanted to pop back on here again to talk about how to get kids Stand to up, eat baby. healthier. Um, yesterday we had a big, many reply, many questions after we did our Facebook Live. So we wanted to go ahead and address them. Right. So Amia. yeah, yeah, Amia's Amia. right here. So um, Leah asked. She said, "My four-year-old only eats three things for dinner: taco, hot dog, or butter pasta. He'll eat green beans with it. I've tried to get him to eat, get him to take a bite of what we're having for months, but no luck. Meanwhile, my one and a half-year-old eats anything. Any tips from for a four-year-old picky eater?" And then Sasha said that she has the same issue mm -hmm. of bread, pizza, right. with no cheese, and French fries. Um, so. Yeah. I know my daughter loves um, pasta, so what I did was I just buy brown rice pasta, and it's actually very good, and it's the only pasta that I eat. Um, and so when you, especially when you put sauce on it, or you know, you, however you do it, you can't really tell, um, and it has tons of fiber, um, and it's made out of brown rice, right. so it's you know, it's it's actually a much healthier option. Also. Um, my daughter's running away. Um, also, another way I put vegetables into her diet, which now I don't have to sneak them in, but I, at sometimes I, I've had to, and so I puree veggies. So let's say carrots, broccoli, um, any other like sometimes frozen veggies because those are really quick and, and, and accessible to make. Um, so I always buy orga um, organic frozen veggies, so I always have those on hand. Um, but I add them into like marinara sauce. So when you season, I season my marinara sauce with, um, you know, like really good um, cheese. And so it's, you can't really even taste the vegetables in there. It does give it, you know, a texture, but um, normally that's fine. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is to switch, instead of making two dinners, so instead of making dinner for you and your spouse, and then separate dinners for your kids, like don't do that to yourself because you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Um, when you go out to eat, order, you know, have the kids eat what you're eating. Um, but when you're eating at home, to do family style. So always give lots of different options. And we love, you know, we eat with our eyes often, right? So like if it looks good, like, the, the way your brain works is is that way but if you're putting on you know putting on their plate like only what they want like of course they're that's that's what they're gonna be eating every day right so my kids I they always know that okay. they have to have at least um, at least one fruit or and one vegetable on their plate so that's always on offer you know if it, and I always encourage them to try new things and it it will happen and sometimes it's just a phase or it's a developmental thing where they are sensitive to um, texture. Um, and one other thing I, w I don't know if um, Michaela touched upon this was you can also with the pasta um, and things like that you can serve them in a more healthy way so you know like you can cut things up really tiny um, vegetables and they don't even know that it's there you know like you can make meatballs or you know pasta sauce or things like that when with finely cut up um, spinach and they don't even know that it's there because it doesn't have that much flavor so the key is to provide options that aren't necessarily these things or they need to for me my kids will finish they need to finish their um, fruit and vegetable before they can have another serving of the one thing that might be a starchy thing that they really like. So what else? Deb said 13 year old girls love fruit, veggies nope, only carrots. Michaela asked if you've tried smoothies. Here, Mia. Look. Um, and she didn't write back but again it's about about trying new things so it could you know make it fun of you know, okay, we're gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna pick one vegetable that you haven't tried. And, you know, let them be a part of that decision making. Same thing if you have a lo local farmer's market. It's really beautiful and you can say, oh my gosh, I've never even make heard of that. Make it an experience. Yeah, make know? it fun, make them part of it. And versus if you can't it. go every week, you know, go go at least once a month. Like, right. have them 
have that be an activity with you, you know? Right. Um, and again, um, uh, ch 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 Chippies? Ch Chippies? Uh, Chippies? Um, sorry about your name. Um, two-year-old eating no veggies at all. Again, like with a two-year-old, you could have applesauce and mix it with Right. with pureed any vegetable and they probably won't butternut even know squash it. is great carrots are great um, even broccoli like you can just puree all of that stuff um, <laughs> you can actually take apples and um, boil it with the veggies and it actually tastes like applesauce right Be back. so you can easily disguise it um, another four-year-old that only eats hot dogs chicken nuggets and pizza again just um, you know experiment with just maybe not having those available and like Michaela said before is you know if if, if you're this is what you're if they're hungry they will eat <laughs> so if they know that okay we're and you could wean it you could if you're no longer gonna do hot dogs chicken nuggets and pizza start not buying the hot dogs and then you can make actually healthy chicken nuggets at home you know where I'll, I'll just do breaded chicken and instead of um, you know breadcrumbs or maybe you can use breadcrumbs I will do um, you know almond meal um, ground up almonds and with some seasonings and my kids love it you know you make them at home they're not fried so you can do a baked version of it so it's a little bit healthier and then have a side with a, uh, some sort of a vegetable um, 19 month old only eats corn and peas um, I mean, I wouldn't, 19 months is still so young and they're still exploring. So I would just keep on trying and keep on having it available. I know my kids weren't really eating like consistent great solids until they were, you know, two or older. You know, it was just trial and error. And again, their tastes and their um, sense, their taste buds haven't fully developed. So it's all new to them. They're exploring. They might have a strong gag reflex. So I, it's just a lot of about exposure. Um, okay, well that's, mo that's, I think we hit most of the questions. I don't know if you had anything else you wanted to say. Yeah, is, is they need, you know, the fact that you know, kids need to eat pretty often, almost like I find with our kids, like even more than every two hours. So it's not just focusing on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's actually having healthy sna snacks on hand because if you do that, then they're a lot more satisfied and they're like and they you can know, listen to their body because so, I know that we eat when we're hungry and that leads to us not overeating at the meals because we were just talking about how when we when we go too long between meals we make I poor decisions food. like yeah. you know you and want the pizza you want the yuck because you're so hungry that you just need something now that's like super and something comforting you know and, and so for us and this is what we've noticed with our kids because Michaela has been here for two weeks but our kid, like our kids, just naturally graze, and I think that's okay because I know my parents' generation. It was very much the three meals, and you eat what's on your plate, and that's it. Like, like there's not really any snacking and that sort of thing. But in reality, it's actually better for our systems to graze. So again, you know, having having grapes on the counter or watermelon and, and those sort of things, or just like slice, also sliced having up veggies really on the nice dips really help. So. Um... Amia loves hummus, but you can make your own dips. Like if your child doesn't like hummus, I mean, but try it. You can make any yogurt style based um, dips and, you know, just put out uh, celery and carrots or cucumbers, peppers, and um, they're more likely to eat it. But if you right. don't put it in front of them and have them see you eat it. Just like there's, there's adults that have never had greens before because they've never been exposed to it. Right, right. So, and no, it's, yeah. it's crazy because uh, one of my babysitters that I had was actually amazed at how well Amia eats and to me it's just natural like that's you know it's how I eat I'm not gonna buy other things that I don't put in my system for her you know so it's I'm trying to make my life easier I'm not trying to make it harder but she was saying she's like wow like she only learned she actually just started eating avocado by about a year ago you know my my daughter eats like a half an avocado a day um, you know she eats really well and some things she's like wow like I have to get for myself and and this woman is I don't know maybe in her six, uh, 50s or 60s and so you know that's how a lot of people were raised and unless you you know study nutrition and wellness like you're not really exposed to it um, but it's something obviously that interests me and I went to school for 
And so it's just the way of living. So definitely educate yourself, but also educate your kids. If your kids are a bit older, talk to them about um, the importance of eating healthy and the difference and how much better they're gonna feel if they eat healthy because and, and explain to them, you know, the different moods you get with eating different types of foods. I know um, my moods or my mood swings can go up and down if my diet is in balance and same with kids. So I think that kind of wraps it up, but definitely focus on balance. You know, if you are out and it's a carnival or something, like it's okay to have the ice cream, like don't beat yourself up over it, but just try to limit the things that you buy. Um, and yes, cooking healthy, you'll definitely be a lot more in the kitchen, but then it's worth it because you don't have to, you know, deal with the stuff that comes out afterwards if they're not, you know, if they don't have healthy habits. Um, and that's it. Take it easy on yourself. Um, if today is hard and they don't want to eat any vegetables or tomorrow, like keep on trying. Don't beat yourself up over it. Tomorrow's always another day. So I hope this was, there's lots of books. I hope this was uh, educational or informational. Um, if you have any other questions, let us know. We love to come on here and answer anything that you guys have questions to. So hope everyone's having a beautiful day, healthy, and happy. Bye.